Wyatt Hunter in the backfield now. Hunter comes in with an impressive 922 yards. Long back to throw. Fires downfield. Intercepted. I can't tell who it is, but it's Parker Johnson. Hodgkin dropped to the turf. Another bad snap and another big defensive play by Grinnell's defense. No one on that right side of the field. They pitch it to Hunter and Wyatt busts through a hole, busts through another man, broke it off. And he finally goes down, it's a big first down. Oh my goodness, he just laid the boom. He didn't even really want to juke him. Souser will start in the shotgun all alone on first down and 10. It's a handoff to Josh Osborne, and Osborne breaks free and is put to the turf, but a great little run by Josh Osborne. Yeah. Hunter gets the call, breaks a few tackles, and drops down easy first down for Grinnell. First and five. Hunter to the right side. Can he get a few blocks? Bounces it, stays on his feet, spins forward. First down, Grinnell. Souser handoff to Hunter, he's got it, has more. Wyatt Hunter off to the races, they're not gonna catch him. Touchdown, Grinnell. Good snap, kick is right down Main Street. Mackay hands off, trips, and is driven to the ground by Grinnell. Quick ball game. Cummins in motion to the right, they'll pitch to him. And fumbles the football, Grinnell's gonna hop on that top of it, and then ball. it's gonna be a Grinnell ball. Tigers recover. Handoff. Hunter pushes forward. Hang on to that football. And he fights forward all the way down for about a gain of eight. Souser, low snap. Handoff to Hunter. Hunter gets a lane. Here he goes. And spun down to the ground. It's a first down and more Grinnell. Handoff. Hunter. Here he goes. Gets a good block. Busts through another. And he barely falls forward. McGriff in motion. Handoff, Wyatt Hunter gets a block, powers his way for a first down. To Souser's right, here comes McGriff again in motion. They hand off to Hunter, who pushes forward and stumbles into the end zone. Touchdown, Grinnell. And I think you'll be pretty thankful if you're a Grinnell fan here. Knutson on to try the extra point. Good snap, kick is line drive, good. Souser. Hand off to Hunter, and Hunter busts through a hole and drags defenders down, gets back to the original line of scrimmage and more. Souser, hand off to Wyatt, and Wyatt will bust through and falls forward. He is actually really close to the marker. Gives the big play right here. Grinnell hasn't worked a lot on fourth down. Here we go. Souser, hand off to Wyatt Hunter. He is going to have the first down and more. Wyatt Hunter, foot race. And he is going to be driven down to the ground. It's a first down to Moore. And do you say one of the biggest plays of the night? They might be thinking end zone here, honestly. You had the wind at your back. Souser, though, hand off to White Hunter again. White Hunter with the block. He is not going to be touched. Touchdown, Grinnell. Two straight huge running plays by Wyatt Hunter. Put Grinnell up 20-7. to seven. We'll see if Mads can put this one through. Good snap. Kick is good. Hunter in motion to the right for Souser. Three wide receivers to the left. Here comes Parker Johnson in motion. They hand off to Hunter, and Hunter stays on his feet. Busts through a hole. Oh, my goodness. He's not going to be caught unless Newton can get there. They do not. Touchdown, Wyatt Hunter. Four TDs on the night. That's going to on to attempt the extra point. Snap hold kick is good. Four for Hunter again, gets a good lane. There he goes again. <laughs> He's not going to be caught. Wyatt Hunter again. Touchdown, Grinnell. Five touchdowns in the game. No, no, they're, I mean, they're long they're, runs. They're That's why I'm thinking. They're 25-plus yard yeah, runs. Like, he's got to be close to almost the – Matt's Knutson, by the way, puts it through. He's got to be close to the single-game rush. Tiger football team right now. Long back to throw, pressure coming. He oh. steps up, and he's got a lot of green grass. And who else but Wyatt Hunter to make the tackle. It's a first down, though, for the Cardinals. Long fake to Farber. Here oh, comes Josh Souser. Oh, 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 my goodness. Down on the field with Coach Souser, 35-14 to 14 over Newton. Coach, you said this was one of the bigger home games since 2013. It was cold, but you guys still pulled it out. 
how'd you do it? I mean, this is a rushing team that rushes for over 300. I mean, how in the world did you just hold them to 14 points? We had an unbelievable week of preparation. I give our defensive coaches a lot of credit. I mean, our, our checks and alignments, I mean, we had them scouted to a T. And then more importantly, our kids understood the scouting report. And we felt pretty confident on Wednesday and Thursday. Then you just hope it materialize. It does like it does on Friday night. But I haven't seen anybody do that to Newton on film uh, in a long, long time. So I'm extremely proud of our kids. Does this help the confidence knowing, you know, you got South Tama next week and then Pella. Do you like where the team's sitting out with two games left in the district schedule? Oh, we couldn't be happier. One of our main goals in the offseason was to be playing against Pella week nine in a game that mattered. And, uh, we, you know, we have to go take care of business next week at South Tama. I don't care what the record is. That's a rivalry game, and we can't be looking ahead. But uh, the reality is week nine here against Pella could be an unbelievable atmosphere, and I'm glad our kids uh, are going to get a chance to be part of that. The defense obviously played wonderful. Uh, what was the biggest thing you guys did to change? From that Oski game, it was rough. But what happened after the Oski game that you guys have just flipped the script the past two weeks? Well, the Oski game exposed a lot of our weaknesses on the defensive line. And um, we've, we've, t we've had a lot more hands on deck in the D-line. I went back and coached D-line for the first time in 20 years, uh, along with Chad Rose and Ethan Might. So the reality is we have three guys coaching those four spots. And then the other thing we did tonight was we played a five-man front, and uh, that was something Newton wouldn't have seen on film, and they really didn't have an answer for that and our kids uh, beat them up at the line of scrimmage and I thought that was just uh, outstanding the way we played. Well, it was a lot of fun to watch. Go celebrate with your team and warm up. It's freezing out no here. No doubt, guys. Thank you. Thank you.